Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Now the basic idea is to take the area of the whole circle, which we know is pi r squared, and we're going to multiply by what part of the circle. Now if it's in radians, you're going to be having, you're going to be dividing by 2 pi here. If it's in degrees, you're going to have 360 degrees. Because the idea is to spin completely around the circle, in radians that's 2 pi, in degrees that's 360. So you need to know the central angle and you need to know the radius of the circle. Alright, I'm going to present to you four examples here. These first two have the central angle in degrees. The numbers 3 and 4 have the central angle in radians as you can see here. Pause the video and give it a try. Alright, you can see the answer there, 113.1 square miles. And here's how we get that. We're going to take the area of the circle which is pi times radius squared, and radius is 12, so 12 times 12 is 144. And we're going to multiply it by 90 degrees, and we're going to divide by 360. Now let's look for some common factors. I can divide 90 out of both of these numbers, and 4 can also be divided by itself and into 144, and that will leave 30. 6. So now I have pi times 36 and we multiply that out we should get 113.1 square miles. Number 2 we have pi r squared so it would be 16 squared 256 times 120 degrees for our central angle and don't forget to divide by the entire spin around the circle, which is 360 degrees. Our common factors here and here are 120, actually. So it leaves me with 1 there and 3 there. That's it as far as simplifying goes. So now we're going to take pi times 356, divide by 3, and we should get 268.1 square miles. That's an approximate answer because we are using a rounded decimal. Class 3 and 4, now we're into radians. So we're actually going 3 pi over 2 around the circle, which as you can tell is 3 fourths the way around. And we have a radius of 18 yards. So we're going to take the area of the circle, which again is pi times radius squared 18 squared is 384. Multiply by the central angle, which is 3 pi over 2. And yes, we do have to have 2 pi in the denominator there. Remember, we're dividing that whole expression by 2 pi, which is the rotation all the way around the circle. Now let's look for some common factors. I notice that 384 can be divided by 4, which leaves 96, and leaves a 1 in the denominator here. And yes, I can cancel out that pi with either that one or that one, it doesn't matter. And let's see what we have left. We have 96 times 3 times pi, nothing left over in the denominator. So when I multiply those top numbers together, I should get 763.4 square yards. All right, continue on. Number four. Radius is nine centimeters, but I have a pi over two um, central angle. We want to find the area of that sector of the circle. So the entire area of the circle is pi r squared, and radius is nine, so that'll be pi times 81. Multiply it by pi over two. Don't forget to also divide by 2 pi, which puts it in the denominator. Cancel out some common factors, which in this example can only be the pi and the pi. So we're going to take 81 
times pi time, or divided by 4 and our answer should be 63.6 square centimeters. All right, well, if you are one of the students who has watched all the videos in this series, then you are an expert, basically, on finding a sector area of a circle. So congratulations. Thanks, as always, for sending me the comments, sharing it with others, and I appreciate you watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.